Hey guys, welcome to my Friday live. And I'm just checking. Uh, looks like I am live on both platforms. I did receive a message as I was signing in that there could be some technical difficulty with Facebook. Uh, looks like though it is connected. So if you guys are on Facebook, say hello. Well, actually, if you're on Facebook or YouTube, definitely say hello. I do stream on both platforms and I go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys got a bonus live yesterday with the cottage, uh, cottage colors. Um, so let's see. Uh, we have Jackie already on. Kelly, Carol, Shelly. Hello, hello, Christy. Thank you all for joining. So today I thought um, in honor of the cottage colors, we'll use some of the new cottage colors. Uh, if you missed yesterday's live, you guys, uh, do you remember my um, PhD or my project half done? We started this on a live and uh, there were a lot, the molds had to dry. They were dry and I didn't know what to do with it. Well, we painted it yesterday with juniper and then we used the white wax from DIY on it. And I love it. I think the dark wax would have been really nice too, but I thought white was kind of springy. So that is what we did yesterday. Um, and yes, okay. So I actually had a, a whole thing all set up on um, a, a post to go live or go over on Facebook if you guys could not get on Facebook. So I'm so excited. Uh, so apparently Facebook fixed whatever issues they were having. Awesome. Um, before we get started, just want to make a plug for my maker's box and I am going to um, post it in the comments that if you guys uh, haven't heard, I am kicking off my maker's box. And if you are interested in signing up, I am doing a wait list and you will be notified first before I open the cart. So anybody on my wait list will receive an email on May 27th and you will have the opportunity to purchase a limited edition box. It is a subscription box. So if you want to get it every month, you can definitely do that. Um, and it is full of so many goodies. So if you missed that live, some of the things that will be in there will be a uh, limited edition um, designed just for my box, uh, uh, two Roycycle decoupage papers. So it's kind of like a mini release of Royce's papers every month. Uh, there will be also uh, Connie from The Painted Photographer. She will also be... Uh, creating a piece of rice paper uh, or a design of rice paper. And there'll be two rice papers in every single box. And then I am going to curate uh, the colors and different items in the box each and every month for you as well. So if you haven't yet, get on the wait list. So I just want, if you're interested in the subscription box. So I just want to let you guys know about that. I'll definitely be making plugs and let your friends know um, if they are DIYers, because it is definitely something that you want to get each and every month. All right, so let's tackle our projects. Um, so I thought um, we would use some of the new Roycycle decoupage paper and then some of the new cottage colors in honor of the new releases. So um, I honestly thought uh, this was probably going to be, I thought the pressed, I thought this one was going to be honestly the number one seller. I, I love this paper so much and it's doing great, you guys. I, I just thought it was going to be a number one seller and um, the spring master board is. So, uh, but I love this one. So I thought, let's go ahead and play around with this today. And we're going to put it on um, the coffee pot. We're going to do that. And then, you guys, I also, where did I put it? Over here. I thrifted this recently, too. And I thought we could add a little chunk in here. And I want to use Anvil, which is the dark color from the Cottage Colors on here as well. And then we're going to use some white wax. So that is the pro those are two of the projects. And then if we have time, a third project will be, I have a picnic basket and I was going to leave it as is and try to wash up the inside. Like there's like, here, I'll grab it. 
I'll grab it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And I was going to try to like wash this up and all that good stuff. And it is really dirty and ratty. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm over it. I think I'm just going to get rid of the red, like this red stuff. Maybe use probably just toss it. I don't know. Um, and then I thought we could paint the basket, um, just kind of like dry brush it. So I haven't painted anything yet. So no need to get all like, if people are like anti-painting it. <laughs> so just relax. We're going to start with one project, then we're going to move our way. Uh, let's see here. I have some comments. Hello. Hello. Uh, we have Crystal. We have, uh, L, is it Ellen, Eleni, Eleni? I hope I said that right. Eleni, th thanks for joining. Uh, good morning. I always watch your videos, but I watch them on my TV usually, so I don't comment. I'm a huge fan and love all your creations. Oh, thanks, Lori. Let's see here. We have Tanya. I have been flipping some canisters. I'm going to try and stamp the birdcage on a piece of rice paper and see how it turns out. I will let you know. Oh, good. I know I have been itching to try the birdcage stamp or that stamp. Um, I think it's going to be really awesome. So let's see here. Good morning from Tennessee. I love the maker box idea. I'm on the list. All right. Connie's on the list, guys. Uh, if it works, I will decoupage it on the canisters. Awesome. Hello, Susan. Thanks for joining. Hey, Joan. Thank you for joining. I just want you to know that we love your sing song voice. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Oh, that's funny. And we have Debbie. Hello, hello from Ohio. All right, let's get cracking. All right, so I, this can, or this uh, teapot, what I did with the, or like, I guess it's not a teapot. This one is actually um, a coffee pot. I, I'm sorry. It could be used for tea, though. You could warm up water, but I think it's true intentions because it does have the little percolator thing on it. There probably was at one point um, like an insert that went in here. Uh, this side of it has like some numbers on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to I want to decoupage something on this side. Uh, all right. Well, hello, everyone. Now, a whole bunch of you are jumping on. Hello, Susan. Long time no see. How have you been? Hello. Hello. Talent on board, too. Uh, Sean Quilts. Hello. Oh, from Germany. Yeah. And we have Beth, too, from Wyoming. Awesome. Okay. So I have done this um, in the past, and these have gone over really well. I typically have put birds on these. And so today what we're going to do is we are using the pressed master board. Um, so the pressed flower master board. And I'm just going to see what, what kind of catches my eye on here. Oh I, oh, I like this. I like this with the musical notes here. That's very, very fun. Or even this with the flower or with the with the um, butterfly. It has been a very long couple weeks, you guys. I have been doing a lot of stuff. And so after my live today, I am going to shut everything off and I am just going to like chill. <laughs> I rarely do it, but I need, uh, I just need to like unwind and do nothing. And that's what I plan on doing this afternoon. So, um, and then after I rest and recoup, I have to work on a piece of furniture that's been in my living room that I need to get out. So, um, otherwise my husband will be like, okay, that has been in the living room now for how many days? And it needs to get out. Uh, hey, Kelly. Yes, I, I do. I think I deserve a little break. So, yeah. Um, all right. Hello, Kendra. Kendra. Happy. Hello, Sonnet. Good Friday equals no work. So I get to watch you live. Yeah. Thanks for joining. And looks like we have Andy. Hello, hello. We have Duana. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Hello, Nancy. 
How about a Friday date night with your hubby? Yes. Um, actually, you want to know my hubby is actually getting off work early today, and he is taking our daughter um, on a little fishing trip. So typically, um, when a normal spring occurs, there's a big walleye run. Uh, so they are actually attempting to go walleye fishing. I don't know if there's the there's a big run going on. Um, it's like when the walleyes run down the river. Well, they're not running. They're swimming. But they swim down the river, and then they lay their eggs, and then they swim back. And that's what's happening. So they're going to go fishing. <laughs> so I have some downtime, but it'll be good. It'll be good. Uh, let's see here. All right. Let's look at this paper. So um, if how many of you guys uh, purchased the or have the pressed um, mass or pressed flower master board? It is definitely was one of my favorites the moment I saw it. Like I was tore um, initially between you know the spring master board and the pressed flower master board, and I'm like, I don't know because I love butterflies, I love birds, I love all those things. So I didn't know which one I liked better. And then, well, I love the crate collage too, because I love them all. I love them all, but you always have to have a favorite, you guys, right? But not with children. All right, let's take a peek here. I, I like the musical notes here where there's like, um, or like the paper, music paper. I love that. Kelly says, I actually bought both of them and I can't choose which one I like better. I know, see, it's like a tiebreaker. It's like, it's like with your children. Uh, so I'm trying to think, what would I want to put on here? I also, this part of it also really caught my eye right away was this portion. I love how it has the writing on there, the butterfly, and then some botanicals. So that might be an area that I'm going to use. I think that would be kind of fun. And what I'm going to do is just randomly, like, maybe just kind of like cut it out. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to cut it out. I'm going to use my um, paintbrush and I'm going to wet, like do a line around it and see. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I like that one. I also like this though, too, with the, um, I'll say butterflies, but maybe they're moths. I don't know. That too is kind of fun. I don't know if that, I think that might, oh, that might work. That would be kind of fun also. I don't know. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go this route. I like that green. Okay. So what I'll need is I'm going to need my paintbrush. Oh, let's see. Tanya says, I am going to buy that. It it is pretty. Don't forget we have that butterfly stamp now. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yes. It will go really good with it. And you know what would be kind of fun with the butterfly stamp, too, is don't always, don't forget you don't just have to use the butterfly or the stamps just for stamping. You can also use it in clay. So you can add, like, dimension as well. So you can roll out your clay and then stamp into it and then take like your exacto knife and then cut around the stamp and then that can add dimension that would be really cool too um kelly says the green butterfly and paint the black handle gypsy green oh that is a really good idea i like that okay let's do it i like it i like it okay so apparently I think I have I'm like, why do I have this cut? I think when I was doing my initial video, I was going to actually use that for something. So uh, let me just lay this out and see how I want it. Okay. All right. I'm just going to try to go like this and just kind of go around. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Let's start. And I like the, um, when you add that water and then you pull toward like away from it to tear, like well, you're tearing, it is what you're basically doing with the water. But I love how 
it has the like the rough edges. So it's not like that, you know, like that harsh cut from a scissors. All right. Set that aside for a second. All right. Perfect. I like it. Oh, I think it's going to fit perfect on here. Wow. Wow, you guys. Look at that. So we can do it one of two ways. We can do it as is and just um, decoupage just the way it is, or we can add white to the background to really make it pop. Let's see. Switch to Facebook. Do you get better benefits for people commenting from Facebook versus YouTube? Um, well, either or, but right now, um, I was trying to get as many views on Facebook as possible. So that's why I was initially asking you guys to go, um, if you're on YouTube to do uh, Facebook too. Um, but yeah, it's all good. Let's see here. Oh, that's why everything looks different. I was scrolling through Facebook when I saw you were live and jumped on. Duh, I'm usually watching you from YouTube. I may jump over there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I, what do you think? I think I'm going to add white to the background and then I have to figure out where I put my liquid patina. Oh my lord. Oh, right here it is. I'm feeling, feeling kind of out of sorts today. Like I said, it's been like a really busy couple weeks. Listening while driving an hour to do some antiquing. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, thanks, Susan. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a layer of white on the back to make it pop. All right, and I could have done this when it was on there, but I just decided, I was kind of like, do I want to add the white or do I not want to add the white? So we're adding the white. Be very careful when you're adding the white guys. Be very careful. Don't do what I just did. I dropped it. I there. We are gonna let this dry. Um, and hopefully I didn't get any white paint on the front. We'll see about that. And then I'm going to grab a little Ziploc. We're gonna put that in there. All right. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. I just love it. Deb says you're on my YouTube or you're on YouTube on my TV and also running on Facebook on my phone. Do that. I can or so I can make comments. Awesome. All right. So let me grab my heat gun. We're going to zap this to try to move this along a little bit faster. What are your plans for the weekend, guys? What do you all plan on doing? Big plans to be with your family, go to church. All right, okay. Well, that dried pretty darn quick. So then you can see that's what we're using. And I am going to put it on the side without the numbers. So, all right. So we have a question, Sonnet. If you do an inlay and can't use paint, what can I use instead of paint? So what I have tried it in, um, if you can't use paint, I have used Big Top and I have also used polyacrylic. So the polyacrylic from Minwax, I always have to look. 
Um, I have used both of those and what you need to do, I have, I've done it actually on a few lives. Um, I've done it on a bit, couple of videos too, to show or to demo it. Actually, there is a, um, a video where it was an IOD release and it's the um, blue paint and lay. I can't even think of the name of it right now. Blue Trump or something like that, or Trump Le Boo. Um, I showcase how to do it both ways with paint and without. And, um, I also show how I made a boo-boo without, with the first time I did it with, um, the, uh, big tap, I actually like almost like sealed the paint inlay. So don't do that. Uh, but it's very easy. You just apply the, uh, top coat. You put your, I recommend misting the paint inlay, lay it down and then misting the top. And then I always try to heat set it and then just watch. You don't want it overly dry. Uh, so with the paint inlays, you can let them like sit overnight. I would not recommend that with the top coat. Um, so once it like almost looks dry where the paper's getting to be dry, remist it and then pull it off and just make sure it's really well misted. That is my suggestion. Um, Nancy says she's going to church and then to my sissies. Oh, awesome. Trying to stay healthy while among sick children I have an upcoming surgery. Oh, gosh. Yes, take care of yourself. Church on Sunday, then likely going to my brother-in-law's to watch baseball. Ooh. Um, I are there any uh, basketball games? I know my husband was doing the whole board. I normally, when I had my full time job, I would always be on a a basketball board, you know, the for the final whatever. But I, I guess I could have made one up myself, or we could have did one. Um. Okay. So. I also showed that too. I um, so talent on board too said I just heard if you put on put it into a top coat, then you can't get three uses out of the inlay. Have you heard that? So on a live, we actually tried to reuse it because I thought you couldn't either because it would almost like seal the paint inlay. But what I have discovered is um, if you mist your paint inlay with water and you prep the area and then um, you put it back in, it, it does reactivate the paint. So it must not seal the paint in like completely. So you are, well, I haven't tried a third use out of it, but I was able to get a second use out of the paint in lay. And we did it right on a live and um, we were all very excited about it. So, um, oh, <laughs> Shelly goes, I'm not a basketball fan. Honestly, you guys, I'm not either, but I love, I love this um, time of year though, because it's so fun to see them all doing their thing. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I don't really keep um, track of the basketball either, but I just always have fun doing the boards and watching. Okay, so we're gonna start then. I'm gonna line it all up here. And I'm going to pull it back and we're just going to start decoupaging them here. And then we're going to bring it down. Oh, you guys, this is so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love this. It's already looking so good. That's the one thing too I just love about the decoupage paper is that you can use it on virtually everything and it just changes the whole like look and feel of whatever you're using it on. And it's very inexpensive to do. So it's not like you are spending an arm and a leg. And with many of the papers you can get how many, pro I mean, I can get so many projects out of that one paper. That's why I love the decoupage paper. All right. Perfect. Just trying to get that last little bit of bubble there. Perfect. Now it is perfect. Okay, so what I am going to do 
put all kinds of stuff next to me. I'm surprised. I have tripping hazards around me. I am just going to try to get some of the um, decoupage medium off. And I'm using liquid patina, you guys. So in case any of you are new watchers or new viewers... All right. Perfect. I love it. Okay. I think that looks so good. All right. Let's chat about the handle. All right. Uh, for round items... For round items to hold still, take a gallon bag and fill with beans, rice, sand, etc. Squeeze the excess air out and seal up the bag. Thanks for the tip, Renee. I probably should have that in my supply room or in here because I work with a lot of items that are not flat. <laughs> and I'm always like taking different items and like trying to steady it and all that good stuff. So do you guys think we should leave the black handle or do you think we should paint it gypsy green? I kind of like the black handle, but um, what do you guys think? Let's take a little mini vote. A little mini vote. All right. Oh, you're welcome. Um, Jeannie says, thanks again. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So Nancy says green. We have Kelly and Nancy wanting green. I'm going to grab my gypsy green just in case. Okay. So here is the gypsy green that um, we were thinking of. Yep. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I haven't received my decoupage paper yet. I do not know what the USPS problem is with shipping. I have no idea, Jackie. Everything's been shipped. Um, every item has been shipped out. Well, except the orders that came in yesterday after I shipped, uh, which were um, I will take care of um, over the weekend. So let's see. Green, green. Oh, everybody says green. Okay. Susan says black. I like the black handle with black painted with a black painted base. Oh, oh, a black painted base. Let's see here. I got mine yesterday and I live in Michigan. Um, exactly, Jackie. Well, you guys, I, there was one package that was shipped. I was, I felt so bad. The lady um, or the gal that called, like she called me and I, it left me a voice. No, we were eating dinner and the, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, how did I miss a phone call? And I turned, I listened to the voicemail as we're eating dinner and she sounded like she was going to cry because the package was delivered, like the envelope was delivered to her, but there was nothing in it. And there was a label on it that said, <laughs> damaged, missing item. Like it, it was all checked, you guys. And I am like, so I said, well, I have to, I should call her back. I'll, you know, and I was going to call her back after dinner. And then my husband's like, call her back now. She sounds like she's going to cry. So I called and I, had to file a claim with the U.S. Postal Service, but I, who knows what's going to happen, but I've never had that happen where there was like, it looked like the whole, it just ripped open and like, how could you lose everything in there? I don't know. It just, uh, made, I'm like, whatever, but, uh, but yeah, so you, okay, let's, uh, Nancy, I am stalking my mailman. Oh my gosh. Um, so I have, there's a, I don't know who this is, but it says YouTube user. Um, Hey, Hey, how you doing? All right. So what are we thinking? I think the most, um, everybody said green. So let's do, let's do some green and we'll shabby it back to have a little black pop through. So we'll make you guys both happy. All right. And for those of you that are just tuning in um, or haven't been on a live, I do like to come up with projects and then get feedback from everyone. So it's not that I don't know or don't have a plan. I have a plan and I like to get feedback from everyone. So if you're a, a new viewer... All right. 
And I have to say, you guys, I have been receiving so many nice compliments about the podcast. Thank you all for joining and listening and hopefully learning a little bit, too. I've been having fun doing it. And you guys are going to get my first interview very, very soon. All right. Perfect. Okay. So we did the green. Now we're going to let it dry. And then I am going to... Um, Robin says she got hers yesterday also, and she lives in Virginia. Good compromise, <laughs> Susan says. Yes, I like to compromise. We're going to do a little, a little bit of everything here. All right, we're going to speed it up, hopefully, by drying it a little bit quicker. Hey, Lorraine from Michigan. Thanks for joining DIY paint does dry um, almost like with a matte finish and then you'll know when it's dry and it does need to be sealed. So after we distress it, we will need to seal it here. All right. So there you have it. Let's distress it a bit. What do you plan on doing with that when you're done? Um, actually, I'm going to do what I did with the other ones. I am going to get it in my booth. And actually, I put a bunch of florals in it. Um, actually, I think I did greenery. Uh, and they all sold. So that's what I did. And um, people must have really liked the look of it because they bought them. Um, I do have to tell you guys a funny story. I did take like... Uh, it was like a metal, I found it at the Goodwill bins and it was this metal, I, it was like a riser and I um, painted it and I uh, added a stamp to it. I thought it turned out really cute. I got a comment though on Facebook. Oh, so is that just going to be a dust collector? I'm like, well, aren't all small items that are shelf setters kind of dust collectors? <laughs> I had a laugh. I'm like, kind of, I guess if you want to look at it like that, yeah, they probably all are dust collectors. So I am just wet distressing it with a baby wipe. And I think that uh, I should get sponsored by them. Since I've been using it so mu them so much, I probably wouldn't be, but I ended up getting these all free from a friend. So... All right, that looks good. I like it. And I'm just going to do a little bit inside. So it looks like it's like a worn handle. You guys can see how it all looks real worn and aged. Um, I love it. All right. Oh, <laughs> Jeannie says she has a lot of dust collectors, and I'm fine with all of them. I know. Um, I am painting a wooden slim primitive rooster. What color should I paint him? I thought about layering him bright, brighter colors. Um, that yeah, I have to think about that. Um, uh, some people are just rude. Yes, absolutely. Um, oh, dried florals in here too would be really good. Um, so the rooster, what do you guys think? What color do you think uh, she should paint a slim primitive rooster? Let's think about that. Um, I think, oh, I've been seeing, I'm trying to think. I saw something really cool that was painted with 
like a solid color and then some like white waxes. But yeah, it would be kind of fun too to layer them with some bright colors um, or like blend them with some bright colors, <laughs> which uh, I'm working on the blending. The green handle was a great idea. I think so too. I love it. I, and I love the black popping out. I like how it looks all aged. How much did you charge for it? Pricing is my worst enemy. And I think on these, I'm trying to think what I had. I'll have to go back and look. I think it was like 18 to 21 or something like that. I think I had on it. Um, so not, not a horrible amount, but um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's what I did. I think 18 to 21 is what I had on it. Okay. So now I'm sealing it with Big Top. And so I, th I think I'm going to start bringing you guys along for, um, so I just looked at, the, I'm not trying to stress myself out, even though I'm kind of stressing myself out, uh, but guess what's coming up? Antique Acres, you guys. Uh, it is May 17th and 18th. So now that the weather is getting warmer, I think I might be starting to do, just bring you guys along for that and what I'm prepping and getting ready for that with. Uh, since I am going live now three times a week, uh, you guys are going to just really be part of that. So hopefully you guys like that part of it because we're going to be doing some furniture, all kinds of stuff. All right. I love it. I think it turned out great. All right. Great idea, Tanya. She started, I actually thought red too, but then I'm like, I don't know if you'll want to do red. So a lot of people don't like painting with red. I love it, but I am a big fan of red though. So yes, I think that would look really good. Um, let's see. Donna says, if we get rid of our dust collectors, we would have to take down our ceiling fans, etc." <laughs> yes. Oh, hello, Mary. Thanks for joining. All right. Uh, marquee red and then black wax. Oh yeah. So that's where I saw that too. Um, but they are so pretty while they're collecting dust. I know. So yeah, if you guys came into my house, I have a lot of dust collectors. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I'm like, oh Lord. But here it is. The first project done. All right. Um, I'm loving it. I think it looks great. So we'll set that there. Actually, well, I am, well, I have the Gypsy Green out. I'm actually going to do a second coat on this because then I will be able to finish this right away too. This was my project that I started and I'm like, okay, I just wanted to do two coats on here and then just, I was going to do a wet distressing on this too. Okay. And this is that little cigar box. I do need to paint the bottom yet for those that are probably going to ask me, um, will I paint the bottom? Yes, I will. Okay, fusion yellow first, then DIY red or DIY red marquee. Oh gosh, I can't wait to see it. Tanya, if you're not on my group page, definitely get on there and I want to see your I want you to post it after you're done doing it. I definitely would love to see that. Because I'm a big fan of chickens, roosters, well. I don't have any roosters. I have some chickens though, but they're all girls. They don't make a lot of noise. Well, they, they only make noise when they lay eggs. I don't know if you guys know this about chickens or if I told you this already, they cheer each other on when they're laying an egg. It's so cute. It is so cute, you guys. All right. So this was like, I have, I'm thinking this is like an old cigar box. And I just think this would be so cute to house something like even like um, jewelry or something like, 
on the dresser, I think it would be really pretty. And I put some decoupage paper on the front too. And I think, what one did I use? I'm trying to think what, what one this came from. I'm going to have to look. It was on my live for Royce's um, page. <laughs> or for Royce's uh, product, or like the new launch of the paper. So, all right. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over then, and I'm just going to quick paint, do one coat on the bottom. Oh, Kelly said she didn't know that about chickens, but she thinks that's cute. Yes, anytime one is laying an egg, they all go, they all like start making noise. They're like, come on, come on, you got this, you got this. It's really, it actually is really stinking cute. And that's the only time that you actually hear them or they're really, really quiet. Um, when we first ended up getting chickens, we hatched them from eggs. And the eggs that we bought, my brother's like, yep, they told me they're all girls. I'm like, how do they know they're all girls? Well, they apparently candle them, which they like look at them and they, deter they must be able to determine or they think they can which ones, which eggs are females and which are males. And so he bought all the, um, the well, we bought them as babies. So he, he bought them all and I ended up getting six and then he got six. I was so lucky. I got all the females. He did not. <laughs> he ended up getting like, Four out of his six were roosters, you guys. And I'm like, thank God I didn't get those in um, here, like in the city. The neighbors would have freaked out. I probably would have freaked out. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, do you think it's better to sell an item bundled together with the florals or sell the item and the florals separately? I do it all separate. Uh, I give them the option. Um, so I price all my florals and greenery separately, and then I price the item separate. So I've done that for a while and it seems like, and if they don't want the florals, I just take them out. Um, but when I, when you just said that, I'm like, oh, that's right. I have a bunch of like these florals that have yellow flowers on them. I'm, I should definitely get those in there. Oh, um, yeah, Jackie, that's a good point. <laughs> I don't have this problem. But Jackie says, oh, that's Kelly. Um, Jackie says, when the rooster is chasing them, they also make quite a bit of noise. So that is a true statement as well. All right, so we got that drying. Now let's get to our second project. We got this drying, and that project is complete. So I thought this was kind of fun. I I'm thinking of putting this on something. I'm not sure yet what, but I want to paint the edges. I'm going to paint um, the very edge anvil, uh, which is that dark, um, like the dark uh, chocolate black, or not chocolate, uh, charcoal black. It's like a really nice black. And then I'm going to white wax it. So that's what I'm going to do to the outside. And then I want to put... Um, a different, I don't know. I just want to do something different in here. I wanted a butterfly. So what I'm thinking is kind of like this butterfly. I like that with the, the writing. So that's what I'm thinking. And I wonder if I can get this off. I probably shouldn't even try to get it off. All right, that is what I'm going to do. I don't know if I can, I was trying to figure out how I could outline it. Normally I can see through the paper pretty good, but I can't on this one. So let me try to find it with my finger right here, okay. All right. Okay. There it is. Let 
And here. So I can, I uh, found the very edge of that um, where the, okay. So it's uh, apparently a bit crooked. So I'm gonna do this. I just wanna straighten it up a, a tad. Okay. Perfect, that's a lot better. <laughs> this is a lot better if it's straight, you guys. You want to make sure your paper is on there straight before you start marking where you want to cut it because <laughs> that would not be good if it's crooked. Okay. Um, that is a whole lot better. All right. So I just took my fingernail and I just marked off the edge where I'm going to cut it. Uh, let's see here. Um, Tanya says, have you built the chickens a swing? I have not. Um, but it's super cute when you see them on a swing, but I have not built them one. Actually, this, well, we'll see if I have time this year because I have a lot going on this summer, but I wanted to redo their chicken coop. That was my goal this year. But I also have quite a few projects in my yard planned for um, to get ready for my October event. Okay, hopefully, hopefully I marked this right. We will find out in one second if I did it right or if I didn't. Hopefully, hopefully. And it worked. So this is what it looks like currently with that. And then this is my vision of this. And then we're going to do the black around it. So that's what we're what I have planned for this. So let's go ahead and transform this. And then I want to put this on something. If you notice, there are like holes punched. So I was thinking maybe even doing some punches down here and then putting like something on it, like pinning it or putting it on a, a wood board or something. I'm not sure yet. Haven't thought that far, but I, I definitely knew that I wanted to change the look of this. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to take um, the beadboard any white works and I'm going to paint over the floral because first of all I don't want that to pop through I don't want you to be able to see it through the decoupage paper and I want the paper to pop so that's what we're doing All right. Um, they love cabbage heads too. Oh, that's good to know. I did not know that. They love all kinds of scraps. So like whenever, yeah, so they love my like bags of lettuce that don't always get used up. Um, it's kind of nice. They like a lot of stuff. But I didn't know that about cabbage heads, but that makes sense if they like my lettuce. I also give them little treats, so those little mealy worms, I give them those too. All right, let's see here. So... Would you guys have thrifted this or would you have picked it? I, it was very inexpensive and I like the look of it. And um, I just thought it would change the look and feel of something or I could create something with it. I just think it looks kind of fun. 
I'm always looking at, plus I only had an hour. I only had an hour and I was digging and I wasn't finding a whole lot. And I'm like, I have to find something good. I need some new items. Do I really need new items? No. Do I like getting them? Yes. I love getting new items. Oh, that's a good idea too. Um, Susan says two small flowers, IOD molds to cover the holes. Maybe that's another idea. If, um, yeah. Oh, Shelly goes, I, I want to get a couple chickens, but I need to do more research on having them. They're actually super easy. I, I will tell you, they are very, very easy to have. Um, they're very self-sufficient. Um, as long as you, they require daily water, daily food. Um, what I did, did right away when they were babies, um, I did a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. So I have very, very friendly chickens. So every day I would hold each one of those little chickens and I would like, totally make sure that they looked at me and they thought I was their mom. <laughs> I gave them the impression, like the, I was definitely, um, you know how you make an impression on them or whatever that's called. They think I'm their mom. So when they see me, they like get really excited. Well, plus they know I bring them food. Um, but yeah, that's what I do every single day. All right. I think or what I did every, I don't do it anymore. You guys, I don't do one, one time with them anymore, but I did. And I think that just made them really, really friendly. And the other thing is they need protection. So things can dig in there and get them. Um, I actually, something was breaking into their coop and we didn't know, we don't know what it actually was, but it was eating their eggs um, and we, uh, actually then had to go around the whole outer edge of their coop and we found one spot. It was something very small that was getting in there. Um, so it wasn't killing the chickens. It was just taking the eggs and it was, um, we, we still to this day don't know, but the next day after I totally like, uh, pro like proofed it so that nothing could get in. There were like claw marks outside around the edge. Something was trying to get back in. So each night they would get in there. Um, an imprint. Yes, it was imprinted. I was imprinted. Thanks, mom. Hey, Sheila. Maybe a snake. Yeah, I don't know. I th It was something that had claws. So it was like clawing its way to try to get in. Um, we live in the city. So we were thinking, well, we live, there's like a river. Um, I would say like couple blocks down the road. So we were thinking maybe like, it's like a, a river and it goes down into a hill that maybe the, there was like a rat. I, we didn't know cause we we're like in the city, but anything's possible, I guess. Right. Okay. Let's go ahead and I'm going to line this all up and line it up perfectly. So it covers all the white. And even if a little bit of the white sticks out, that's okay, because I'm going to paint the rest black. All right, I'm going to grab my Oh, gosh, yes, my mom says, remember, you found that cute little raccoon as well. Yes. So our neighbor had this whole pile of wood, you guys, and um, he was moving it and he disrupted a raccoon's nest in the pile of wood and all the babies got displaced. Well, I didn't know it, but all of a sudden I was outside going to feed the chickens and on the other side of the coop, all of a sudden I saw something and I like jumped. And here it was like a little rec. The baby raccoon was like on the edge, like on, <laughs> on the wire. And he was like clawed in and he had his face like pinned to the coop. And I like looked and I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe it's dead. But it wasn't. It was definitely alive. And it went up into the tree. It like got scared. It finally ran up into the tree. And I called my dad and my dad said, um, they're really mean. You be very careful. 
And I'm like, oh, he looks so nice. So I went back out there to see if he was still there. And then that's when he got really mean. He started like hissing at me and he did not like me at all. And my dad just said, yeah, don't, he'll then, you know, go away. And so, but he was after my chickens. He wanted to eat them. Plus, I think he was looking for a place to, to um, get, like hide. I don't know. But um, is that a tin tile? Yes, it is like a, a tin tile. It's, um, I don't know. I don't think it's a real tin tile, but it's, it's a very thin tin tile. All right, so what I'm doing then is I am doing a little starter strip and I'm applying the decoupage medium there. Uh, and I'm gonna work my way down just like I always do. And... All right, and then just keep working my way, smoothing it out. Perfect. I'm just going to add a little bit more liquid patina over that. Smooth it out a little bit more. Put my brush away. Okay. Um, I think that a raccoon would have killed the chickens. They are nasty creatures. Yes, they are. Um, I discovered that because I thought he looked so cute. I'm like, Dad, he looks so cute. My dad's like, do not think he looks, he looks cute, but he is not cute. <laughs> he, he will not be very nice to you. And I'm like, yeah, he's fine until I went out there and he, he was not fine, you guys. <laughs> he was not fine. I was actually scared. And then I'm like, um, yeah, he finally um went bye-bye so but then i found out that there were a bunch of them that were all that they actually scared little kids in the neighborhood like when they got displaced there were little kids playing outside and the little raccoons went over by the little kids and it was not good so even though we live in the city sometimes um we get other creatures Okay, there we have that. I'm just going to try to drop, give it a little zap here. Oh, you're the first person I ever saw do a starter strip and it's a game changing when decoupaging. Honestly, it is. Um, what, I, the first time, I just remember you guys, the very first video I was trying to decoupage. And I had never done it. And it was like, I, I, I actually discovered Royce's papers and I'm like, I want to try it. And I ran into like all kinds, like, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what medium I wanted to use. And then, um, actually I took one of Royce's classes and I think she did a starter strip. And then that's when I started doing that. And it gives you so much control over your paper. It eliminates the wrinkles. It, um, I had so many people, like they would put all the decoupage paper or medium down. And then they would try to lay the whole paper and it would like wrinkle. And then they would pull the paper back and then it would tear because that's, it's thinner. And it just gives you way better control. Figure out where you want it, start your little strip, get it positioned and then go. Um, somebody had an opossum in their car. <laughs> I had a, an opossum trapped under in the carport in my car once. It was hissing and acting crazy, I would imagine. <laughs> It could have been a skunk. They like to eat chicken eggs. Oh my word. I hope not. Oh gosh. I don't want to, and I don't want to get sprayed by a skunk. Um, oh gosh. Okay. So where is mini baby raccoons? My dad was a logger and sometimes accidents would happen in the trees with the moms. Oh boy. I, I kind of have an idea what you're talking about, but we won't with the accidents. Okay. Let's paint this black because this dried pretty quick. Well, Anvil. This is the new cottage color and it's called Anvil. Let's go ahead and paint it up. The one thing too, do um, always make sure that you um, secure your lids on all the way so it doesn't dry your paint out. 
with that top coat being built in, definitely do that. So, oh, um, Joan says she has a tile similar to mine and she had the same idea of doing something um, to the tile. Yeah, so this, um, I honestly, I, I got it for such a good price at the bins. So I'm like, it would be a good project piece. So, all right. We're going to add the anvil, and then we're going to add a little wax to it uh, after we get it. Okay, this is where I have to have a really steady hand, right? All right. I'm going to have to really focus here. <laughs> I'm going to have to focus, guys. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, let me, I'll have to focus on all four sides. So the, the difference with the cottage colors are they have a built-in top coat. Um, a question that has come up, um, I saw it multiple times now on my, um, it was on my live and like, I think it was on one, a post about having, if there's going to be any type of like a uh, little variety pack. And um, at this point, I don't foresee a variety of pack at all. So I think it's nice that they're available in the eight ounces. Um, one thing too, that might be kind of fun for me to do is have it be part of the subscription box at one point or like take not all of them, but at the same time, of course, but um, possibly because um, I'm going to curate the different colors. So if like a color would go with it, it would be a great opportunity for you guys to try it out. So that's something to think about too um, for me. All right. Uh, Chrissy says, can you add a transfer directly over milk paint working on a project and don't want to mess it up? Um, yes, you can. And Shelly goes, yes, you can. You probably want to seal the milk paint first. Yes, but don't seal it with any waxes. So um, if you had planned on sealing it with uh, a wax, uh, then you'd want to do that secondary. But like Paige said here too, you might want to seal it first. Um, I have Christy after it's dry and seal it first, then apply it. Uh, Susan asked, um, is it comparable? So both of them have top coats, but they are, um, definitely a, a different They're They are, they both have the top coats built in, but, um, they definitely, you know, like are a little bit different. So the, um, the formula is different. Uh, and I don't know exactly what's in each, but I just know that based on what I'm um, working with them, they do, they feel different. So there. All right. I am going to let this... I'm going to dry this real quick. I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to dry it. And then we're going to add a second coat. Gosh, I hope I'm here. I'm not even watching what I'm doing, you guys. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Does one of them have a stain blocker? Um, not that I'm aware of. Neither of them do. So like with the DIY paint, there's the, they have, what's down here, Salvation Solution. And Fusion, I am trying to remember if they have any. I don't know. 
Yep, as soon as it's dry, I will show you guys the tile close, and then we're going to add a second coat. Is it okay? So, oh, is that the okay? So, Tracy just asked too, is it like painting? It's similar, but it's a little different. Um, it has more of like a chalky uh, substance. Like when you distress it, it's a little bit more chalky, like a chalky finish, I guess is a good way to put it. So when, like when I distressed, um, but again, I haven't, I haven't painted a barn quilt with uh, the fusion paint either. It would be a good comparison. is probably going to be hot because it's metal. All right. So this is with one coat. And you guys can see like the detail. And now we're going to add a second. All right. I just want to make see it. I want to see how the, okay, that looks good. Okay. Uh, Fusion is really good at keeping stations from coming through, stains from coming through. Okay. I'm sure that both of them are probably because of the, um, the black, the um, top coat built in. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the second coat. Do that. So I went with Fusion 2. Well, I loved it, but then I was looking for an all-in-one paint, and I knew that, you know, they had the cottage colors, but I didn't know how quick they were adding colors, and I wanted a, a full line. But it sounds like they're going to be growing really fast now. They're going to be adding colors, so I'm super excited. All right, so this is the second coat I'm adding. And then what we'll do after this dries, I'm going, I think I'm going to add um, the white. Well, you guys can tell me, do you think I should add the white wax? I was thinking about adding some white wax to it. All right. Just have to concentrate for a sec as I, when I get near the, the picture, I have to concentrate, you guys. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna fix that. That looks good. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna read the comments when I am drying it. Try to. There. That looks really good, you guys. Let me put this back in here. Wish I had a steady of a hand to hand paint as you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I know when I'm trying to multitask, though, like talk to you guys at the same time, it's, it's kind of hard. Um, okay. So Donna says yes to the white wax. Joan says yes. Lorraine says white wax would look really nice. White wax would be pretty. I'm so doing this to my tiles, painted them already, but going to start over. Uh, that was a yes to white wax. I think the white wax would really bring out the detail on the, I think so too. All right. Um, I can't wait for your curated box to go public. I order all my little bits of things from you. Oh, thank you. Okay. So what it, Sonnet, I would love to see a YouTube tutorial from you adding floral or and or greenery to items. Oh, okay. 
I can do that. Uh, anyone know, is there detail underwear she decoupaged? Uh, it is flat. There, I Actually, I did not go underneath. Um, there was actually an image there, so I just painted over it. But you could do a decoupage piece of paper over um, a raised surface, too. You would just really want to get it into each of those grooves. All right, I better let this cool down a hair because it's metal, you guys. <laughs> we, So this is what it looks like so far. I'm loving it. I love it, love it. I'm just going to dry it a little bit more. look at I really think this is like I at first I thought it was like a charcoaly black but I really or like a, like yeah a black but I'm really loving it I think it's a really nice dark black wax or black paint all right so we're going to use the white wax from DIY Yeah, you'll have to try it and then post on the page, on the group page, um, how it turns out page. That would be really good. All right. Let's go here and grab some paper towel. Oh, where have all the anvils gone? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, let's see. All right. I just want to make sure it's completely dry, you guys. I don't want I don't want any accidents to happen. All right. Okay, so Sheila says very cool. Paige um Paige said that's so beautiful. Thank you. I love it. I think it looks really good. Okay, so we're just gonna take my the waxing brush and I just want to make sure it's cooled down and it is. And then we're just gonna add some wax to it. And then we're going to wipe away the excess. All right. And let's take a peek before I keep on going, going. How much I can do right now anyway, right? Oh, I like it. I think it looks really good. And it does, I think it does bring out a lot of the detail. Don't want to get a lot of the white wax on the paper. Well, it wiped off the paper. Okay. I think I'm going to leave a I kind of wiped off too much over here. So I'm going to just add a little bit more. And just leave a little bit there. I kind of like that better. I'm going to add. Good. I like it. I'm just going to add a little bit more to and very lightly around. It's here. I'll show you guys. I like it a lot. I think it looks really good. I like it, but what do you guys think? I think it looks really awesome. I think it looks awesome. Okay. Just like the white, there are so many shades of black. Love that black. Oh, I know. Yeah, there are so many shades of white. I know my mom was saying that she wanted to paint something white and she wanted to find out what white I like best from Fusion. And I said, I don't know yet. I haven't played around with it enough to have like a favorite. So do you guys have a favorite white or? Here, I'm going to go in and I just want to try to like, buffle. I wanted the black to come out a little bit more in some areas. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> See you in a minute. Um, Kelly says, absolutely adorable. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to, like I said, I want a little bit of the black to just kind of be popping out here and there more so. That's what I'm going for. Oh, I like it. And then have the white kind of like embedded in some of the areas. That looks really good. All right, I like it a lot. I think it looks so good. I like how the black just um, in some areas I took off a little bit more wax. And then some of it has a, the white wax really into it. I don't know if you guys, hopefully you can see like what I'm talking about. But that's what it looks like. I, I really like it. Totally transformed you guys. So I'm thinking, oh gosh, do I have a board in here? <laughs> oh, I don't think I do, but I think it would look really cool. Well, you know what would be even fun? Um, I probably could paint the back too to make it complete, but then even I could um, put some, like a really pretty ribbon in here and they could even like use it as a hanger. All right, let's see here. Uh, I've only used Victorian Lace from Fusion, but I like it uh, on my late, but we'll replay. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I really like this a lot, you guys. I think it's looking good. All right, so another project complete. And now let's jump over to, we have a bit of time, so I still have time to do this. So let's talk about which cottage color I should paint this. I do want to wipe it off though. So let's chat about, you guys get to pick. I'm leaving it in your hands. Um, the only one that, so let's see here. Uh, we have Provincial, which is the tan, like a tan. The Pacific, which is blue. We have Juniper, which is the green, which is the color of the pot that we painted. We have the Anvil, which is the black. Um, barn Quilt, which is, yep, that's what we're, I'm doing. Um, I'm just wiping this off because it's it was a little it's a little dirty. So I just want to wipe it off or clean it because I didn't get a chance to do that. And I was like, oh, that's just fabulous that. <laughs> All right, Joan, thanks for joining us on YouTube now. Awesome. 50 50 credit. Before on Facebook, now YouTube. All right. Um, Juniper, if you are leaving the lining in, paint it blue. I am not leaving the lining in. That's why I want to remove it. The lining is nothing to write home to mom about. So let me just, I'm going to clean off this top first. We're going to take out the lining. Oh. Oh, good Lord. Now I'm wrecking it. Um, well, I don't have a mustard paint. Otherwise, that would be a good idea. Um, but the lining is a little, ugh. That's why I was like, I'm getting rid of it. So... Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to just set it in this pot down here. Get rid of it when I'm done. All right. So it's looking pretty good now. I think it like, even without the lining, it totally transforms it. <laughs> oh, 
I love it without the lining already. Okay, let's see here. All right, so we have juniper. We have a couple junipers, another juniper, a couple blues, Pacific, which is the blue. Okay, okay. All right, so um, I'm hearing juniper and I'm hearing Pacific. All right, leave the top of the basket natural as is. It will be a nice contrast to the base, whatever you call you paint it. Oh, Tracy says, never mind, use the blue. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, with, okay, so we're gonna, we were voting on Pacific or Juniper. Um, and then let's see, leave it. I'm just trying to see here what we all have going on or how many. Um, I am a little torn. I'm a little torn on what color we should do. All right, lots of junipers. Yeah, Pacific would be cute for summer. Oh, that's a good point. This is a really good point, you guys. Uh, with 4th of July coming up, that's a really good point. All right, so we're going to do blue. Patriotic picnic basket. Yes, we're going to do blue. But the blue reminds me of a sky. All right, we're doing blue. Let's let's go ahead and all right. Woo. All right, I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna move that just so you guys can see. All right, I just want to make sure everybody can see. Wrong side. What is this? Oh, that's my heat gun. Okay. All right. Well, let's go at it. Let's just let's just do it. Okay. And actually, I'm really liking how it's going on kind of because I was hoping for more of like a um not like a super well, maybe a we'll see. I wanted to, I was going to distress it back a little, just a little bit, or add a little bit of the, or someone had said white wax would be really good. I, I like that. Oh, you guys, I love this color even more now that I'm playing around with it. I think I am going to do two coats, though. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, I'm really liking this. I'm glad we went with blue. It reminds me of those other picnic baskets from last year. I did one red. I don't I think did they they I think they all sold. I was trying to remember if they sold or not. Uh I do like that blue. Don't like the orangey wood distress back to. Yeah, we'll see what we'll see where this progresses, you guys. We will see where it progresses. So maybe just because I'm not going to be able to get into every little crack, so that's why oh, my daughter is making a bunch of noise. I think she yelled, Dad. It's like, Caitlin, I'm on a live. <laughs> she's a teenager, you guys. And she's on spring break. All right. Oh, I, I'm really liking this, you guys. I am so glad I decided to paint it blue. I really like it for, um, especially with the fourth coming up. But it can probably be used for more than just the fourth, but I think it'll be really good for that decor. All right. Christy said Pacific is a beautiful blue. It really is. I'm loving it. I miss something here. 
feel like I did. Okay. Did I miss something over here? I can see stuff like I'm going to have to go back around. Or is it here? Here it is. All right. Um, can't hear you. I couldn't hear her. Oh my God. You can't hear me. Um, I couldn't hear her. LOL. Can't hear her. Page, page. Hi, Sonnet. Leave the lid natural. Um, okay. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Did I get muted? No, I'm not muted. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Oh, you can't hear Caitlin. <laughs> you guys. It's been a long week. Okay. You can't hear Caitlin. Good, good, good. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so now I got it. I It took me a minute to catch up. Oh, boy. Yes, yes. Got it, got it. All right. Connie says she loves the Pacific Blue. I do, too, you guys. This is so good. I'm glad that we used this to paint this. Very, very good. All right, I'm grabbing this side. Okay, so I've been reading that some people think that the top should be left natural. Other people don't like the orangey look of the color of the basket. I am going to do two coats, I've decided. And if some of the wood kind of pops through here and there, I like, I'll like that. So I think I started, when I first did it, I did it a little bit lighter, but um, <laughs> it has been a very long week. That is why, like, I don't even, I think I'm just going to totally veg and do nothing. I might actually be, like, I, in my podcast, I said very rarely do I just sit on the couch and do nothing. I actually might just sit on the couch and watch, like, a bunch of YouTube videos or something. Um, but not with the DIY. Probably with, um, I'm kind of. If I was younger, you guys, now I'm not younger, but if I was, I think that all the people living out of their vehicles, like these van lifers, um, I don't know why, but I've been slightly obsessed <laughs> with watching these van lifers. So I just think that's kind of fun. So I might watch some of those. Okay. Oh, you guys, looks so good. Oh, there's a spot. Where is, I can see it on right here. Like, why can I see it on the, the screen, but I can't see it in real life? All right. All right. Okay. Maybe I should just go around like that. And I'm going to do the bottom. Do not worry. I'll do the bottom. Oh, gosh. I like it. I like it. Okay. What do you guys think so far? Let me put the lid on. So I put a cap on spills. Let me grab a baggie for this. Now, remember when I told you yesterday, if you were on my live, um, with these paints that have a top coat built in, you cannot leave them in a baggie like overnight, okay? You can leave them in a baggie just for a little bit, but wash them right away because what will happen is it will wreck your paintbrush. I know from experience. Let me make the mistake, not you. All right, let's see what everybody has to say. Uh, Connie says she likes a Pacific blue. Uh, let's see, the, that is the perfect navy blue, my favorite color. Awesome. All right, on the lid, put a transfer. I like it. Oh yeah, you guys, you know what I, I could do a transfer on the lid. I think we should paint the lid. I'm not painting it because I've heard people say, like, don't paint the lid. But I'm thinking if we paint the lid, um, I think a transfer would be really good. All 
All right. Oh, hey, Dana. Dana says, um, what about white swan on the lid? The white swan. Shelly says, gorgeous blue. I'm loving this blue, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Connie has had the same experience as I do. Yes, they will ruin your brushes. Experience here also. Yes, paint the lid and use a transfer. I would paint the whole thing red, white, and blue. So what I'm thinking is, oh, I have them here. I was like, here, I'm thinking, you guys. I'm like, thinking like, if I had that transfer, I do have the transfer. I have the transfer right here. I was trying to think. There, I was thinking this transfer. Um, there was two, well, I was thinking two different transfers. This one or the other transfer that just. But I was thinking like the red roses is what I was thinking on it. Um, like this red rose would be really, really beautiful on it. That is what I'm thinking. So I was thinking that's how I could acquire the red. I really like that red rose. I don't know. I just think it's got, it. Ha it's really nice. Almost. But I got to finish drying this before we go any further. Yeah, so I was thinking either that transfer or the one that I use on the suitcases. I still have a bit of that left, too. And that might be really good. And I might be, I'll be able to use that up. Yeah, um, Paige made a really good point, and I was I was kind of thinking that I really like the whole red, white, and blue theme, but um, oh, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> Paige said I wouldn't get too red, white, and blue. Then people could use it past the Fourth of July. That's the only thing too is that I'm trying to make people be able to use it beyond the Fourth. But other than that, I really like that idea too. Um, yeah, and mom, I, when um, Kelly said that, my mom said that was a good idea to paint red, white, and blue. You could paint the top red, use a star stencil to coordinate. I think red, white, and blue is more patriotic than the 4th of July. I came from a long line of veterans, and we are very patriotic people. Aww. Well, I'm going to first let this dry. Um, red, white, and blue is also good for people that decorate primitive. That's a good point. Um, an understated American theme. I agree, Tina, very Americana. All right, I, there's just a couple areas where I can still tell it's wet. I'm gonna add another coat. All right, I'm doing the second coat and let me grab that. Uh, just one thing too with the um, with the paints that have the built-in top coat, you just want to make sure they're really shook up or even stir them every so often as well. So just something to think about. Oh, let's see here. Let me do that second coat on here, guys, and then we'll... Then we'll make some decisions.
All right. Yeah, I love it. I think it looks really good. I'm really glad that I am. Um, I've been staring at this thing, you guys, just so you know, because I've been trying to figure out what I wanted to do with it, and I didn't know. I I was thinking I did not like the color of the basket, so it was a good time to change it. All right. So, okay. So what do you guys think for... All right, so everybody is kind of going back and forth about what to do with the top. This is when I need Riker here to read me the comments while I'm painting. He's probably watching, going, yep, I need to be by Auntie Sonnet. Oh, the coverage is really good, by the way. I really like the coverage. All right. Okay. You could bring it up, bling it up. Okay, bling it up. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, I know somebody just said paint inlay. I was trying to think what paint inlay I would use. Um, I'm going to check, but I the one paint inlay that I was going to tell you guys, too, that uh, there is actually the paint inlays are a limited edition. And I don't the one paint inlay was so popular that it's sold out from IOD, so meaning I don't think we can get it once it's sold out. Um, it's been asked, and I think that's what the consensus was, that now that it's sold out, we won't be able to get any more. And it is the, um, it's this one, in case you guys, oh, hope I just dropped something. It is the Lattice Rose, I was just going to tell you. So if anybody is wanting the Lattice Rose, Whatever I have out there, it's it's all that I have, and I won't be able to get any more. I just for I just remembered that when somebody said paint and lane, I was gonna tell you guys that and I forgot. Um what kind of paint are you using? The brand. Uh, yep, I'm using the new uh, DIY cottage colors, and this one is called Pacific, and um it's from DIY paint. It's their one, DIY has their clay-based paint. This is the one-step paint. And so Jamie Ray Vintage, uh, she actually uh, curates all the colors with, um, with Debbie Beard. So she was, um, very inspired from her last trip to Europe, her and Zeb, and that's where some of the colors, I guess where the inspiration for the colors came from, or the color palette. I was hoping I didn't bump into anything. Okay, so Shelly says, if you did the star stencil in the middle, you could leave the lid wood, then paint inside the, st paint inside the star with Pacific. Ooh, another good idea. This painting is taking me a little bit. All right. So as soon as the paint is done, then we'll decide what we're going to do with everything here. But that is a good idea to possibly paint the, um, do that. And um, you're absolutely right. It does not have to be just, you know, 4th of July. It could be all Americana. So all right. We almost done here. Well, not really, because I still have to do the bottom, but 
with the blue. I'm almost done on the sides, I think. There, I like it. And I don't mind that a little bit of the wood is kind of coming through a little bit. I don't mind that at all. That looks good. I just want to make sure that there's no clumping, not clumping, but like no, right, add it to too much paint somewhere where it gets like, where I get a run. That's what I'm trying to say when I say clumping. Okay, I just want to. There, that looks good. It's going to go around and double check. All right. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, let me put this back in its bag and <coughs> let's re let's read some comments. Okay. Let's read some comments. Um, what kind of brush are you using? I am using the Steelmaster pointed tip <coughs> 14 inch. Um, it's uh, a new one I started carrying. All right, let's see here. Kristen, hello, Kristen. Thanks for joining. You could do the basket blue, cover white with blue stars, distress, and then add a red and white age looks striped ribbon, then it can be removed, but yet very patriotic. Good idea. Um, how about just painting the basket and handle, leave top natural, hanging some red and white blue stars. Okay, good, another good idea. Whitewash the top so the wood shows through a little and then the red flower or star, red star. All right. Go with what you feel will sell best for you. Usually your gut feeling is the best. Okay. I'm liking the idea of doing the whitewash on top. Um, I do like the, the white, the thought of white on top. So let's go with that. Um, should we do, let me look to see what I have here. I kind of want to do a, like a, Trying to think. I have white linen over there. I'm trying to think of a, a white, white. So I'm going to grab the white linen. Hold on. Hold that thought, guys. All right. I'm worried about the white linen because for a while I had the lid like not perfectly on. And that's how I learned you guys need it on so it doesn't dry out. And definitely learn from my mistakes, guys. Yeah, it uh, it is kind of dry. Um, so definitely, I don't know. We'll see what I, we're going to experiment because I think I, let the lid dry. I think I let the lid on there. I hate it when I do stuff that wrecks my paints. Let me see if I can add a little water and if it helps. If it doesn't, I can get a new, new can. I think that's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm just going to get a new can. There was only a little left in here anyway, you guys. So I thought I could use it up. Let me grab a new can and we're going to do the white linen on top. And I just wanted to see if I missed any comments, which I don't think I did. But I also have this really cute little um, star. So I think we're going to go with that theme. Okay, guys. So, all right. Did you spray with shellac first? So there, no, I did not. Okay. I did not spray with shellac first. Let's 
see. I do have, gosh, I hope I didn't just, all right, let's use, we'll do a first coat of this. So I'll use the Salvation Solution, but I did not, I did not um, do that. But we'll do this. All right, guys. Okay, so what we're doing is we're adding a coat of the Salvation Solution to the top in case there was any bleed through. And then we're going to add white linen on top of that. All right. So what are you guys thinking so far of the white top? I like it. Does that have to sit for like 24 hours? The white, the salvation solution? No, I don't think so. I've always just put it on, let it dry and paint it. Now you're making me question myself. Nope. I, it doesn't say that on here. I've used it in the past and I just added it and then um, let it dry and then it's been just fine. Okay. All right, if you're doing a whitewash, you can really water it down though. <laughs> well, I am not doing a whitewash anymore, guys. So, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I probably could have watered it down then. Oh, love the combination of blue and white. Great choice. Thanks, Kristen. So everyone, Kristen is going to be my very first guest on my podcast. So say hello. And if you don't follow her already, head on over to her page. Um, she's signed in Simply Joy Creations by Kristen. She currently has a Facebook page, but we're working on a YouTube channel as well. She is crazy talented, so she would be perfect for a YouTube channel too. All right. Use the old white linen with water for a whitewash. It works, not the not for paint, but for a wash. Yes, I've done that before, and it won't won't waste the paint. Oh, good idea, good good idea. I was kind of stressed out because I'm like, there is a lot of. I mean, it's not a lot of. It's just on the bottom, but um. So, key points, guys. Now, just learn again from my mistakes. Make sure your lids are on really, really good. And you won't have that mistake or that problem, I should say, like I do or I have right now. Um, but that is good for a whitewash. That's awesome. And I will I'll water it down. Real, I'll probably water it down now. I might even try it on a project that I'm using or I'm in the process of. And it might appear in the Monday video because I still have to, I haven't figured out what I want it to do for the top, but now I might just have figured it out with your help, guys. All right. Perfect. All right. I love it. Okay. Okay. Oh my word, Paige, be careful, be careful. Safety first, like my husband always says. Oh, <laughs> Mary Ann, she, uh, this is what she said. She would have gone with provincial or crockery. There is still time. We are just sealing it with salvation solution to prevent any bleed through. There is definitely time to make some decisions. Uh, we do not have to leave it as is, you guys. So, um, OMG, I'm wondering if she's saying because um, 
of the pages issue with her finger. Let's dry this. We have 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes. I'm drying it and then we're gonna make, make a decision. So do we think we wanna stay with white or do we wanna go with the provincial or crockery? You guys. Lawrence is not white. I love the blue and white, not white. So a couple people, we can still decide. We are going to either do white linen or we could do the provincial or crockery off-white. So crockery, crockery would be more off-white. So um, what I'm going to do is I think we're going to come back on Monday and finish this project is what I've been thinking because I need to sleep on it. Um, and then we'll decide. And then I'll actually have, um, I'll grab a, a possibly like a star. I have a star stencil. So we'll grab that. We'll um, do that. The white is kind of stark, not white. It blows out the blue. Um, yeah. So maybe crockery, you know, it would still like, it's a, I think crockery might be good. Um, the white itself, um, Okay, I'm just gonna wipe. Oh, this is dry. I was like, uh, but yeah. So I think um, so. This is this is called Salvation Solution, which we put on, and it is white, um, and it is to prevent any bleed through. So we took care of that, um, and then Monday we'll finish it up. I'll grab some different options, and we will get working on this. So it will turn out really good. I promise. <laughs> We are going to do a little stenciling. I'm thinking, I think we should do some stars on the top. I kind of like that whole theme. Um, a red rose transfer would be, make it patriotic too. Yes, and the red rose transfer would too. So we'll see. We'll see what we decide to go with. Um, and possibly, yeah, we'll see. I think what I'm going to do, everybody's been talking about the handle and I was kind of wishy-washy on the side it. Uh, but because the handle connects to the blue. I am going to do the full blue handle. So that is one thing I am going to do. Um, and then uh, we're going to, I think the crockery will be good. And then I think either we'll do some, uh, we'll figure it out Monday. We'll, we'll sleep on it over the weekend. Um, it'll end up looking great, whatever you decide. Yes. I kind of have a vision now that I'm working through it. Uh, but Monday, we will finish it. So let's wrap this baby up. Um, so today, what we finished is we finished um, this. It turned out so cute. I love it. Uh, I am probably going to just leave it maybe as it, like, with the little top on it. The ones that I sold in the past didn't have tops, and I put greenery in there. So I'm just going to probably leave it like that. I think that would be super cute. Uh, we finished the tin tile. I think I'm going to paint the back the same color and do a, the white wax on the back and maybe just add a ribbon to it. So took care of that. We um, used the blue. You guys, I am loving this blue like so much. I know there's like kind of, but it is such a good blue. Jamie Ray did a great job picking this blue out. All right. Um, so Monday at six o'clock, I'll be back um, with you guys live. And then Monday, my video. So we just have to hope and pray for really good weather this weekend because the project I need to finish for my video on Monday, or I'm going to scramble making something else, um, I need to get back outside. And it looks beautiful out, but looks are deceiving. It could be really cold. <laughs> so, all right, guys, you guys have a great weekend and happy Easter. Uh, and just enjoy the time with your family. Uh, and we will see you on Monday. Bye, guys.